Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, splitting a file in SPSS, which facilitates the creation of output that's segregated across groups uh, according to a variable in SPSS. Now, before I get to what I'm actually going to do, I s suppose I wanted to know the correlations between three variables. And I wanted to examine those correlations uh, across another variable called education level. And let's say there are three levels of education, and I can actually show you what they are based on these values, undergraduate, master's, PhD. So I want to know what's the correlation between uh, verbal intelligence subtests uh, for those three levels of education, not the total sample. I suspect a lot of people go into data and uh, they select cases. So they'll do the analysis once, they'll go condition if satisfied, and they'll go education level, they'll put that in there and into there, and they'll go education level equal one, which is undergraduate, and then they click on OK. And then they run the correlations, which works. Go on to correlation, bivariate, and put the three variables into there, and then you click on OK. And here are the correlations for education level one. It's not labeled at all. You're not sure exactly what you're looking at. You just know you're looking at a sample size of 209. And these are the correlations you assume are associated with um, education level one. Now, if you wanted to do it for the next level of education, you'd have to select your cases and change it again to level two. All right, And then you'd do it again, and that would be the master's level. Uh, and I just ch selected that, and then you'd run the correlations again, bivariate, and then you click on OK. Now that works, and but it's very time-consuming, and it's not efficient, and it's not labeled. Now a different way of doing the analysis is to actually use the split file option in SPSS. It's much more efficient, and it's much more uh, insightful because it labels it properly. So I'm going to have to unselect my cases. I'm going to go back, select all cases. All right, and I'm going to go into data and split file instead, and I'm going to, there are two options. You can either compare your groups or you can organize output by groups. I personally prefer organizing output by groups, and I'll do that option first. No, actually, I'll do the compare groups first, and the, the variable that I want to, the, to group the output on is education level. So I click on OK. And then SPSS, um, in the data viewer, you can see that there's, an, uh, there's uh, a new piece of information here, split by education level. OK, so now, if I, now that I've done that, if I go into Analyze and Correlate, and then uh, Bivariate, and I do those correlations again, SPSS splits the correlation table across three levels, undergraduate, master's, and PhD, and it does it all automatically. And I can see the sample size, 209, 211, and 199. And these are the correlations, verbal 1, verbal 2, 0.64. But for master's level students, it's 0.76 between verbal 2 and verbal 1. And then for PhD, it's 0.744. Now that works very efficiently and works well, but another way to do it in the split file procedure is to organize output by groups. Uh, and it will do the same analyses, but it will output it differently. Correlate bivariate, just do the same thing. And it automatically does it, and then it gives me this labeling here, which I find very useful. So now I've got the undergraduate correlations, I've got the master's level correlations between the same variables, and PhD. So that's much faster than selecting the data, going into select cases, and then building that up, and then changing it one successively or iteratively across the three levels. Just split the file according to groups, and then c c split your output based on the groups and you get the correlations efficiently and labeled properly. Thanks for watching.